the manufacture of paper faced gypsum board from the preparation of a variety of raw materials, the mixing of slurry, the combination and molding of slurry and face paper, solidification into white board, and then through cutting, drying, edge cutting, edge wrapping, and stacking, all links cooperatively closely to form an automatic mechanical flow operation line. After the paper is loaded and uncoiled, it enters the foaming machine through the automatic deviation correction machine. The deviation correction machine can ensure that the deviation error of paper is less than 2 mm. After unloading and uncoiling, it enters the foaming machine through automatic deviation correction machine, scoring machine, and vibration platform. The automatic scoring machine scores on the protective paper to ensure the beautiful edge shape of gypsum board. All men and auxiliary materials are mixed into codified gypsum slurry in the mixer, and the slurry of the mixer falls on the lower paper of the vibration platform and enters the molding machine. The function of the vibration platform is to break the big bubbles, retain the uniform small bubbles, ensure the quality of the board, and spread the slurry evenly on both sides. To prevent the phenomenon of empty material and leakage on both sides, the molding machine is used to adjust the thickness of gypsum board and extrude gypsum board with required specifications on molding machine. Then, complete the initial setting on the solidification belt and the final setting on the conveying roller table. The initial setting belt is a whole belt, which adopts the best brand of Conditech in China. In number one primary setting belt roller, is made of stainless steel, wall thickness 2.5 mm. Number 2 primary setting belt roller adopts fine drawing pack, wall thickness 2.5 mm. All sticks are straightened by straightening equipment. The run out of the stick is less than 0.3 mm and the frame body adopts 250mm thick channel steel. The roller of the conveying roller table is made of stainless steel, which plays the role of gypsum board heat dissipation. Through the fixed lens cutter, it's cutting into the required lens, 2400mm, 3000mm or other. Silver motor is adopted for the cutting machine, and the cutting arrow shall not exceed 2 mm. Then, turn through one transverse machine to make the front face of the gypsum board face up, and the back face contact with the roller or drying line. In order to keep the front of the gypsum board clean, and the paper coated on both sides bonded better, Turn to the rear two gypsum boards and leave the one transverse machine at the same time. Then, use the closing roller table to make the spacing between the two boards meet the requirements. And then, distribute them into the dryer for drying through the distributor. The thickness of the dryer isolation layer is 160 mm and the density is 120 km gram per stair. The maintain of the driver adopts the national standard 24A roller chain. When the equipment is running, the internal temperature of the drying increases, and the two ends of the driver increase by about 100 mm. So, each section and the dryer must have guide rails, Clearance of the guide rail on the chin side of the dryer is 2 mm, and that on the other side is 4 mm. The thermal expansion time expands to the non transmission side to ensure the normal and stable transmission of the transmission side 
and the quality of the plate. The dryer is divided into two zones, which can well complete the drying curve of gypsum board drying, and avoid defects such as overburning and drying. The process has the advantages of environmental protection, energy saving, high thermal efficiency, and easy control of process parameters. After the dryer completes the drying task, it is sent to the number two transfer system through the plate discharging machine. In order to ensure the cleanliness of the face paper. Two pieces of gypsum board face paper are combined. Enter the fixed length trimming and automatic edge wrapping of gypsum board, and then send it to the automatic stacker for stacking through the finished product conveyor. The maximum bearing capacity of the stacker is five tons, with energy storage station and the function of fast rise and fall. Speed of fast rise is 150 millimeters per sec, and that of fast fall is 200 millimeters per sec. After stacking, it is transported to the packing area by forklift for inspection and packaging, and the whole production process is completed.